St. Paul Staple is announcing it's going to close later this year. Tavern on Grand is the latest to leave the area, and it has some hoping something will be done to help the neighborhood keep stores just along the street there. Brittany Urban is live from that restaurant now with more on these recent closures and what it means to people who visit Grand, Brittany. Well, Paul, I can tell you every person I spoke to today tells me Grand Avenue is not what it used to be. Foot traffic is dropping, businesses are closing, and neighbors tell me it's a sad thing to see. When you look around Grand Avenue, for lease posters stare back. This has always been kind of like a high energy, high uh, traffic area, and seeing it slow down definitely feels strange. Neighbors say the dark storefronts dim the sparkle Grand Avenue used to have. It's kind of feeling a little empty now. In recent months, retail stores like Anthropology and Pottery Barn called it quits. French restaurant Salut closed its doors. And now, Tavern on Grand, a St. Paul staple, will be serving up its last plate of walleye in June. It's been an, an ongoing uh, discussion for, for many, many months. The co-owner, Eric LeMay, says they decided not to re-sign a lease for a variety of reasons. One of them is Grand Avenue. With the change in, in the foot traffic and everything going on, it's, it's made the, 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 the metrics uh, a little worse. After they made the announcement, the phones were flooded with calls from customers, the booths filled with people, and their hearts with gratitude. They're happy tears. You know, like, it means that we've made an impact. Everybody here, the staff and the customers have made an impact on us. Neighbors say when Staples walk away, it makes Grand Avenue a little less grand. I don't know what we can do at this point to get everything back to the way that it was. I don't know if it'll ever go back. And the Summit Hill Association sent me a statement regarding some of the closures we're seeing. They said they've had countless conversations for the last five years trying to fix the area. They're calling on local government to help with the issue, saying they need help with economic development, public safety, and financial help. Live in St. Paul, Brittany Ehrman, 5 Eyewitness News. A lot of people love that place. Okay, Brittany, thank you.